Hello, good evening. Good evening, Francisco, Mario, Carlos, and Elizabeth. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elizabeth. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Did you have very a very busy like very fine. busy at work <laughs> or at home? Yes. Are you at home or at work? At home. At home. And you're busy. You're cooking? Yeah. Sorry? Oh. Are you cooking? Are you Sorry, preparing uh, are you preparing meals? Are you cooking? Mm. No. <laughs> okay, I understand. Yes, at home, there is a lot of work to do always. If it is cooking <laughs> or it might be um, doing the laundry, uh, cleaning. Yeah, I got it. Okay, and the rest of you, how are you doing, Francisco? Welcome, Carla. Nice to see you again. Okay, I see someone new here is Magdiel. Am I saying it correctly? Am I pronouncing it correct? Magdiel Esau. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Okay, nice. Were you in previous modules with us, with English Corporativo? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I was in beginner, model ah, six. From beginner, model six. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So thank you for joining us. So okay. now, I think that everybody here knows how does the things work. Um, because, well, you are new in this group but you have been uh, with English Corporativo in the previous module. So it, it, online or were you at the academy? I was online. Online, oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so now you everybody knows how this works, but um, let's do a quick review. Uh, for you, uh, Magdiel, my name is Flor Guerrero and also for, um, the rest of you that maybe you didn't remember. <laughs> but yes, I was with most of you in the basic six. So um, I'm going to continue with you in this module as well. So um, welcome and congratulations. You're in intermediate one. And uh, just making a quick review of uh, the requirements Remember that um, you have to write your full name before you connect, okay? Eh, tienen que estar con el nombre completo en el caso de que no estén en la lista y estén solo como oyentes, tienen que poner entre paréntesis oyente después de haber escrito su nombre. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión es importante porque pues así tenemos un poco más de de control, ¿verdad? De quienes están activos. Así es que, pues, si se les es posible activar la cámara, pues es lo ideal, ¿verdad? Eh, minimizar siempre el sonido de ambiente lo más que se pueda, ¿verdad? A veces no podemos controlar eh, los ruidos, el background, eh, pero sí podemos poner en mute nuestro micrófono si sentimos de que hay mucha eh, interferencia, mucho ruido a nuestro alrededor, mantener nuestro micrófono en mute. Y claro, pues es importante que ustedes participen en el momento que vayan a participar, pueden habilitarlo y luego pues igual lo deshabilitan. Participación activa, esto es muy importante. Recuérdense que eh, ustedes tienen un facilitador a cargo para que pues, les pueda ayudar con cosas que no se pueden hacer en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, la pronunciación, 
¿ok? Para ampliar vocabulario, ampliamos los contenidos, así es que pues eh, es importante que estén participando para saber en qué les podemos eh, ayudar a mejorar, ¿verdad? Para pulir. Eh, si no participan, no hay manera de saber cómo ayudarles o en qué, en qué punto es que tenemos que reforzar. Ya habíamos dicho el botón en silencio. Eh, si no estamos participando, hay que mantenerlo así. La cámara encendida, pues sí, no, yo entiendo que a veces pues, van manejando o pues este, están todavía en el trabajo, pero pues eh, no creo que sea el caso de la mayoría, ¿verdad? Si es que si podían activarla sería mejor. Eh, los breakout rooms, ya sabemos que a veces trabajamos en breakout rooms, es como lo más parecido a estar en un salón de clase normal, ¿verdad? Estar en grupo y es importante que participen también en los grupos. Si por alguna razón no se unen porque están en alguna reunión en el trabajo todavía, etcétera, es, está bien, pero sucede que a veces el grupo se queda que nadie participa. Y tal vez usted si quiere participar, pero nadie en el grupo está participando, puede escribirme a mí en privado en el chat de la meeting. Ahí dice para el host o para inglés corporativo, como le aparezca. Y me puede pedir que los cambie de room. ¿Ok? Eh, porque pues no podemos obligar a nadie a que participe, ¿verdad? Pero nadie en el grupo participa. Y yo sí quiero participar, yo quiero practicar, yo quiero aprender. Entonces pídanme que los mueva de salón. Espero que no sea el caso, espero que sí participen y que pues, desarrollen los ejercicios eh, para en pro de pues, aprender y de ejercitar lo que está en nuestro programa y en nuestra plataforma. El botón Ask for Help es cuando ustedes están en los breakout rooms y necesitan ayuda, necesitan que yo me meta o tengan alguna duda, alguna pregunta, pues solo a... a pulsan ese botoncito, ya me sale un mensajito y yo me puedo meter a su room a ver qué es lo que necesitan. El respeto ante todo, espero no tengamos situaciones de, de que nos burlemos, ¿verdad? De ningún compañero o sobrenombres o cosas así. No, no hemos tenido estas situaciones eh, afortunadamente y espero no las tengamos. Eh, la asistencia al 100% de las clases, ustedes pues la gran mayoría ya han estado en este programa y saben que el mínimo para pues completar el curso satisfactoriamente es el 80%. Se les da un margencito del 20% por alguna emergencia. Entonces tratemos de dejar esa reserva por pues no sabemos cuándo nos va a tocar alguna emergencia, ya sea por el tráfico, por el trabajo, por enfermedad, etcétera. Es importante tener disponible ese tiempito, ¿verdad? No ponerlo simplemente porque hoy no me quiero conectar y como tengo un chancecito de faltar, tratemos de que no sea el caso y cumplir los 120 minutos que se genera en la sesión. Eh, acuérdense que esto lleva un registro. No es que, ok, ya me conecté, entonces ya va a aparecer ahí que me conecté, entonces ya me puedo conectar. En el momento que usted se desconecta, también así para el, el conteo, digamos, de los minutos que usted ha estado conectado. Así es que, pues, eh, lo ideal es quedarse las dos horas, los 120 minutos. Tomamos asistencia en dos ocasiones, alrededor de las 8 y 20, porque, pues, eh, dándole chance a, a los demás que se unan. Y la otra es tipo 9 y 40 para pues ya está la mayoría del grupo y para confirmar que todos pues siguen ahí eh, activos y participando. Se toma válido al a escucharlo decir a ustedes presente, aunque estemos ahí con la cámara encendida, no asumamos de que pues sí me ve conectado. ¿verdad? Tienen que decir presente para tomarlo como válido. Las secciones uno a uno son después de cada clase. Esto es por si usted tiene alguna duda, uh, algo que comentar, pues se, se le dan 10 eh, minutos después de la clase y vamos como en orden de por, le, por la lista de asistencia. Por ejemplo, ahora le tocaría al participante número uno en la lista de asistencia. Se puede quedar un ratito después de la clase si necesita solventar alguna duda. 
Eh, los permisos, ahí dice no disponibles. Esto se refiere a que nosotros, los facilitadores, no estamos autorizados a otorgar permisos. Eh, si usted tiene alguna emergencia, escríbalo en el chat del grupo para que pues quede ahí algún registro de de repente se le puede intentar contactar las personas de administración para saber cuál fue el motivo de, de su ausencia y de repente pues usted no contesta porque está en el trabajo, no tiene el teléfono a la mano, entonces ellos a veces revisan el chat para saber por qué usted faltó a la clase, pero nosotros no respondemos usualmente cuando es así para no generar malos entendidos, que digan, no, pero el facilitador dijo, ok, entonces yo tenía permiso para faltar. Entonces, por eso nosotros original, usualmente no, no, no respondemos eh, diciendo, ok, o sí, está bien, o tómese el tiempo, el día, la, la clase. No podemos porque no estamos capaz, eh, eh, no estamos autorizados pues, a, a otorgar permisos de ninguna forma. Eh, y eso sería todo. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta. Lo hemos hecho así como un resumen rapidito, porque pues la mayoría, creo que todos ya han estado anteriormente en, en los grupos en línea con, con nosotros, con inglés corporativo. Así que ya saben cómo funciona. Pero pues quisiera saber si hay alguna duda. Me he visto un par de personitas que no las tenía en el módulo anterior, pero probablemente ya venían con otros facilitadores. ¿Ese es el caso, Luis? ¿Qué tal? Mucho gusto. Buenas noches. Todos. Este, sí, sí, eh, me queda claro. El, todo, el, todo el básico lo tuve en línea. Y lo que pasó es que no me, por una cuestión administrativa, no me pude inscribir en el, en, la, en el pasado módulo intermedio 1. Así que gracias a Dios aquí estoy. Pues, échale ganas. Pero sí, todo claro. Okay, perfect, nice. And welcome to the class, Luis. Thank you so much for um, your comments. And is there any question of, is everything clear? Okay, everything clear. So uh, we're going to start with our program, the unit number one, it's called the restaurant industry. Uh, can somebody help me to read the competencies for this unit? A volunteer to read. Me. Thank you so much. Okay. So, unit one, the restaurant industry. Unit, the restaurant industry. Competencies. Express that the service and characters make restaurant more Appealing. Appealing, appealing, to customer. appealing to customer. Organize a basic restaurant menu that features appetizers, snacks, snacks, Snack. main course, dessert, and drink option. Describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu. Provide suggestion about the promotional activities of a product service. Vocabulary. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you so much, Cristina. I appreciate it. So just introduce. Let's repeat. Introduce. Introduce. And here is item. 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 Excellent. Thank you so much, Christina. Now, for the vocabulary, we will um, learn words related to the restaurant industry. For example, styles of service. For example, delivery, takeout, buffet, menu options such as appetizer, entree, main dish, dessert, side dish, patterns, etc promotional activities, for example, publicity stunts, sample, birthday program, loyalty, offerings, etc. 
that's part of the vocabulary that we will be learning in this section. All right, so to start with a program, you have this in your material that I guess, or I suppose I can, uh, well, I think that you have already downloaded this on the platform, have you? Okay, if not, no worries. I'm sharing the screen here. And this is the first exercise that we have on page nine of your material. And it says in this unit, as you know, we will be able to express what services and characteristics make restaurants more appealing. What is the meaning of appealing? Is that a new word for you? What is appealing? No idea. Excellent. Yes, attractive is the same as attractive. Thank you so much, Maria. So. Uh, yes, we will be expressing what services and characteristics make restaurants more appealing to customers. Um, we can start discussing these questions. What is your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? And what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery? So we can uh, share about the first two questions. Uh, for example, my favorite restaurant is Sushito. I love Japanese food. I really love it. My favorite restaurant is, is that one. Uh, I like to get a uh, tepanyaki table because we got there with my family and we share the food. The chef goes directly to your table and they cook and they prepare the food in front of you. That makes it a special moment, someone to get the chef cooking for you and your family and you can share the food. So that's nice. So that's why I really like that place. What about you? What is your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? Volunteers? Volunteers. Yes, uh, yes Alex, Christina. Alex. Uh, okay, okay. Is your favorite uh, restaurant, Christina? Okay, uh, no, no, it's, it's your personal, um, it's about you. Es acerca de usted, su pues, eh, restaurante favorito ah. y qué lo hace especial, ah, por qué okay. es su favorito. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Your favorite restaurant. Eh, podría ser, quiero ver, bueno, ¿qué es el restaurante favorito? Restaurante favorito. Así se dice, ¿verdad? Restaurante. My favorite restaurant. My, my favorite restaurant. Is. Eh, eh, podría ser Alta. 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 Al
as you remember, and you may know we don't have our list for this one, so I'm going to read it for you and you can repeat at home. Okay, action. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi. Luigi. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. We have to repeat after you or, or uh, Yes, you can repeat at home. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Uh, we usually repeat at home uh, with microphones off because of the, we have different like um, internet uh, speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get so, it. Yes, you can repeat at home. Pueden repetir en casa siempre con el micrófono en mute. Luego pues podemos hacer role plays en parejas. Eh, la primera es en mute porque pues tenemos diferentes velocidades y a veces se oye un solo relajo. So yes, I'm sorry que no le dije. <laughs> Asumía que todos venían del, del básico seis conmigo, but <laughs> thank you for asking. Okay, let's start again. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius then. We will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, do you have any questions of vocabulary or pronunciation before we continue with the role plays? Questions? No questions? No question. Okay. Do we have two volunteers to role play? You can raise your virtual hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a. Vi una manita ahí la bajaron. ¿Qué es eso? Mario Ernesto. Thank you. And who wants to practice with Mario Ernesto? A volunteer to practice Super Mario. With me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Magdiel. Yeah, you can start, Mario. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get, so we get more customers, but this is better than pepperoni. Luigi. I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. 
and we have to hear a person to take deliveries. Oh no, it's the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer, and we don't receive receive takeout orders. So let's start with with that. Yes, Carla, you are a dentist. Then <clears throat> we have more cheese and more sauce. That will be a specialty for of the house. Okay, excellent. You did a very nice job. Thank you so much for participating. Um, do we have any question? I just hear this one. Remember, it's higher, higher. Esa es la única que escuché como mispronounced, but the rest is okay. Higher, higher. Okay, here when it says we also need more room. What does it mean? More room. It refers to more space. Mm -hmm. It's another word to say more space. Okay, more space for more tables. That's what they referring to. So excellent. Thank you so much for participating. Do we have two more volunteers? You're doing it good. Other two volunteers? Thank you, Luis. A volunteer to practice with Luis? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you so much. Okay, go ahead. You can start, Luis. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables, and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, oh, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive take up orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce than will be the ayano poder ya no me muestra el contenido a ver el manual okay yes Carla you are genius then we we will add more cheese in more sauce that will be the new speciality of the house. Excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, just these two words. Let's repeat, sauce, sauce. La salsa, sauce. And then genius, G, genius. You are a genius. And then the rest is okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for participating. Do we have two more? Only two more. The last, the last pair. Carla Ivania. Thank you so much, Carla. Uh, volunteer to role play with Carla. Me. Lenny, thank you so much. Okay, right. Carla, you can start. Okay, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So what care more customer but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. 
they have more beautiful decoration that, that displays. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. Uh -huh. Carla? Hello? Are you having issues with your... Yes, I'm here teaching, sorry. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Okay, this that... part. No, no, okay. this part. En esa parte va. No, no. Hello? Mm. Okay, uh, I will continue with you. No, no, the secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce we do. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive take or take out order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, you two. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, we did it good. Uh, now, as you can see here, the letters in bold, it's better than, bigger than, more beautiful decoration than. So that is our grammar focus for today. What are they? When we said better than, bigger than, more beautiful decorations than, what are these? Adjectives comparative. Yes. So we will uh, review and discuss about how to make comparisons in English. So when we are comparing, it's we we compare two things. Okay, two things, no more. Because then if we have more than two, so we use superlatives. So comparatives is two, okay? We compare two things. And it has uh, some rules that we need to apply for uh, making comparison. How do we form comparative statements? We have a grammar reference chart here that we will uh, study. Now, Adjectives with one syllable. Remember that in English, the, um, the syllables are the sounds that you hear. For example, if we pronounce the adjective hold, hold, it's just one sound. Solo es un sonido, es una sílaba, hold. Okay, nice, nice, one syllable. Hold, one syllable. Nice, one syllable. So with adjectives, uh, of one syllable, we add er, or just r, and then dan. Okay. Si esto es que si el adjetivo es solo de una sílaba, nada más vamos a agregar er. Okay. Como por ejemplo, cold. Se fijan aquí, se le agrega er y luego dan. Older than para hacer una comparación. Aquí estamos comparando eh, las estaciones invierno y verano. Entonces dice, in Canada, winter is colder than summer. Entonces al adjetivo cold le agregamos er y luego la palabra dan. In Canada, winter is colder than summer. Ahora, el adjetivo nice ya termina en e. Entonces solo le vamos a agregar la r. Nicer. Done. Okay, and we have one example here. Chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry ice cream. Okay, now adjectives with two or more syllables. Si tienen dos o más sílabas, entonces es diferente. No vamos a agregar er, tampoco er. Veamos boring. Escuchamos dos sonidos. Significa que es de dos sílabas. Boring. Boring. 
expensive. Ese tiene tres. Expensive. Expensive. Son tres sílabas. Ok, en estos casos vamos a agregar la palabra more antes del adjective. Antes del adjetivo vamos a poner more. Luego el adjetivo tal cual. En este caso boring. Y luego la palabra done. Ok. And we have one example here. I think golf is more boring than baseball. And then we have a, an example with expensive. Expensive would be more expensive than. And we have this restaurant is more expensive than that restaurant. Okay. Adjectives with two syllables that end in Y change Y to I and add ER then that. ¿Ok? Con los adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminan en Y, le vamos a cambiar la Y por I latina, agregamos ER y luego dan. Tenemos el ejemplo early, early, son dos sílabas. Happy, dos sílabas también. Entonces, vean el cambio aquí. Early, earlier than. Se cambió la I latina, perdón, la Y por I latina y se agregó ER. Lo mismo con happy. Y luego la palabra than. He arrived at the school earlier than I did. John looks happier than they did. Last, adjectives that end with a single vowel and a consonant Double the final letter before adding that. Tenemos ejemplo, big, hot, big, hot. En este caso, eh, agregamos, eh, duplicamos la última eh, consonante, agregamos ER y luego that. Bigger than, hotter than. Russia is bigger than Canada. In my country, August is hotter than January. Y finalmente tenemos acá un recuadro con irregular comparative adjectives. As you know, irregular means that they do not follow a rule. They change completely without following a specific rule. There is no rule for them. So what we can do, the only thing that we can do here is to Memorize them. Good changes to better than. Bad changes to worse than. Far changes to farther than or further than. It's the same thing, same meaning. Uh, do you have questions with this? Questions? Silence means no question. And we can continue then. No hay preguntas. It's a it's a teacher. Okay. El big y el hot. Donde una sílaba por la consonante. ¿Por qué el 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 el? Ahí me perdí. No le escuché bien, Mario. Se le escuchó entrecortado. ¿Podría repetirme la pregunta, por favor? En el hot, en el big y en el hot. Es, ¿Me explica eso? Ah, ok. Eh, en los adjetivos que terminan con eh, single vowel, lo, tienen que terminar así. Tienen que ser eh, como el patrón este, boca perdón, consonante, vocal, consonante, y llevan estrés, por ejemplo, big, hot, suenan como fuerte, son de una sílaba, llevan estrés y llevan el patrón de eh, consonante, vocal y consonante, entonces en ese caso se duplica la última consonante, se agrega er y luego dan, por ejemplo, tenemos big, big, tiene estrés, eh, tiene ese patrón que ya mencionamos, entonces duplicamos la G, que es la última consonante, agregamos ER y luego DAN. 
ella nos queda Russia is bigger than Canada. Lo mismo sucede con hot. Hot. Yeah. One sound. We have a consonant, vowel, consonant, and it's stress. Hot. Hot. So we double the last consonant, which is T, add ER, and then hotter than. For example, in my country, August is hotter than January. ¿Estamos bien, Mario? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any Teacher, other? Uh -huh. In this case, when, they, when we add the other letter, W, w T, change the, the sound. In the case hot, hotter. Hotter, hotter. It's okay. Hot, hot. Yeah. Hot, hotter. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sounds different. Hot, hotter, okay. hotter, hotter, hot, hotter. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, we will have time to practice and I added some exercises for you to practice those rules. I know it's too much information and most likely we don't have time to sit down and memorize all those things. What we can do is to practice and we will practice soon. Now I will check attendance for the first time tonight. Remember to say present when you hear your names. Uh, so, Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. And let's continue with um, Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia. Is not here. Okay. Let's continue. Balmore Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Cecia Noemi Ramos. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Elba Melanie Orellana. Elba Melanie Orellana. ¿Dónde está Elba? Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Hazel. Present teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Janet Fernanda Cortez. Janet Fernanda Cortés. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Julissa. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Catherine Beatriz. Present Rivera. teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Luis Javier Castillo. Present Luis. Thank you, Luis. Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. 
Present. Thank you so much, Marini. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you so much, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Mirna Janet Angel. Mirna Janet Angel. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Okay, and with Victor, we finish checking attendance. So yeah, yes, it was the last one. Okay, so let us continue. I'm going to continue sharing screen with you. And we were here. We were checking uh, the the rules on how to form comparative, right? Now we have this exercise here. Uh, we will complete using uh, the comparative form of the adjectives that we have in parentheses. Remember that we need also to add the verb B that corresponds. Okay. Give me one second, I stop sharing accidentally. Okay, I am here again. Okay, so you can see the screen here, right? So I need to add the verb B and then the comparative form of the adjective that I have in parentheses. For example, I have I told my sister. So how would you complete this one? I need to add the verb B in this case, for I, I'm going to use am. I am, and then the, the adjective tall, I am E R, then I am taller than my sister. And we completed the first one. I am taller than my sister. Now you will do the same. And the idea here is to make this exercise in groups. So I'm going to create a breakout rooms for you to complete this one. Uh, I, I already sent this to the WhatsApp group. So you we will find it there. But if you're not in the WhatsApp group, you can take a a screenshot or a picture of the exercise so that you can complete it in the breakout room. Are you ready? Ready? Ready, ready. Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay, ready. I will create the breakout rooms for you to complete this in groups.
para que sería en la 1 I am taller than my sister uh -huh. entonces el ten hay que agregarle Sí, solo antes del my tan a las reglas alguien le tomó captura <coughs> Um, it's no, in the no. WhatsApp group. Yes. Sí, sí, porfa. Esas se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí están en el PowerPoint. Gracias, Ticho. Tiene, tiene dos sílabas. Por eso es more. Hay pienso. Large. Large. One syllable. Es un solo sonido. Large. Es una sílaba. No teacher en... en... En the elephants. Ajá. Pe, igual. Miss, en large. 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 Mm -hmm. Teach, miss, eh, la five, the elephant, eh, bigger, is bigger than, eh, ¿verdad? Mm, it's in plural. Are, This is are bigger than. Mm -hmm. are, are bigger than. Yeah. The, the four is correct. No. Se les decía large. Es un solo sílaba. Large. Large. Y es la primera regla. Decían los de una sílaba. Solo se les agrega. It's larger. Larger. Ajá. Solo la R porque ya termina en E. Uh -huh. Is more, is more exciting than. Ah, I confuse. <laughs> Ajá, sí. Pero está bien. More exciting than. Porque se te tres no. Exciting, exciting. Ajá, sí. Exacto. Action movies are. Tiene que ser are. Porque está en plural. Uh -huh. Are. No is. 
Very good. Are more exciting. Something is missing. You're missing something in number six. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's after an Is better? Better than? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, because good is irregular. Good Gooder. changes to better than. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm. No había observado las últimas, las letritas más pequeñas que he puesto en un ejemplo, mis. Ajá, los irregulares. Correcto. Is correct ten. That is correct. Okay. No. Far is regular or irregular? Irregular. Regular. Irregular. Far is That is correct. How? The, the... Can you spell, please? F A R T H E R. More, more slow, please. R R R T R T H. Mm -hmm. No. H H H. T H E R. Uh huh. Ahí falta la H. Mm -hmm. Correct. There you go. Excellent. The sun is farther than the moon. Y así se van aprendiendo los irregulares. Just, it's, it's just a matter of practice. The author is worse. Worse. Is irregular. Worse. Irregular, worse. yes. Thanks. Yeah. 
It's, it's okay. Let's see. Uh, yes, only BC is only one S. BC, BCR. Se le ha ido una S de más en la número dos en BC. Mm -hmm. And it's correct. You can save it. Puede guardarlo, dele guardar y, and then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there any question? Was it interesting, easy, a good exercise? How do you feel it? ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Mm. Eh, algunas sí, estaba dudando de la bueno no lo estaba haciendo yo pero igual eh, lo estaba tratando de hacer pero eh, me equivocaba por las eh, por los tipos de, de verbos ah, de adjetivos esos son de adjetivos ajá uh, tenía que estar chequeando el cartelito. Exacto, exacto. Yes, that is, uh -huh, al principio siempre, ya después, entre más práctica uno se va haciendo mecánico. Okay, I, I think I'm missing someone here. No, okay, everybody's back again, so we can continue. So how was the exercise? Was it easy, difficult, interesting, entertained? What do you I think? I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question, teacher. Yes. And the number six uh, is more exciting. In this case, um, um, quitamos el uh, NLG. No. Okay. Um, can you share your screen? Pueden compartir lo que hicieron? My partner. Okay. Classmates, my, my, my did partner you save your there. work? Nobody? Alguien que haya guardado su trabajo y que nos quiera compartir para que chequemos. Nobody? Nobody did or you can't share screen. No, oh, hey, we have it. Solo esa hicimos. Okay, so um Sarah is busier than Mary. Excellent. The sun is hotter than the earth. Okay. The earth is larger than the moon. Elephants are bigger than horses. Action movies are more exciting. Okay, esta era la que nos preguntaba, ¿verdad, Magdiel? La seis. Yeah, 
Ajá, extra yes, es de tres sílabas. Y dijimos que con los de dos, uh, tres sílabas, eh, se pone more, el adjetivo se deja tal cual y luego dan. More exciting than. Uh -huh. Se fija el adjetivo okay, que está entre paréntesis, exciting. Y lo hemos dejado igual ahí en el ejercicio. Excited. Solo agregamos more al principio y done luego del adjetivo. More exciting than. Very good. And then let's continue checking. Uh, this restaurant is better than that restaurant. Salads are healthier than hamburgers. Okay. Y hasta ahí creo que llegaron. Mm -hmm. Yes, the ones that you have are correct. Las que lograron hacer todas están correctas. Thank you so much, Mario. Anybody else would like to check? Alguien más que quisiera chequear? Okay. Nobody. Thank you so much. Now, thank you, Maria, for sharing. Um, I know at the beginning, probably you would have to check the chart every time that you wanted to um, change those uh, adjectives, aplicar los cambios. Tal vez al principio siempre tenemos que estar buscando en el cartelito, es decir, ¿y qué decía de los que son de una sola sílaba? ¿Y qué terminan en consonante, vocal, consonante? ¿Y qué decía de este caso, etcétera? Y este es irregular o no. But con el tiempo se les va quedando. Con el tiempo y la práctica. Porque si no lo practicamos, se olvida. Al contrario de mejorar, empeoramos. So the idea is, please continue practicing. And yes, we have more exercises to practice this topic. Uh, before we continue, is there any question? No questions. Everything is clear. Okay. Now, uh, this is what we already did. Now, remember the conversation? In the conversation, we have to complete. Uh, I have a question, sorry. Yes, please. ¿Cómo sé yo? ¿Cómo identificar las palabras que son de una sílaba, dos sílabas? Es igual que en español, según el sonido. No, Exacto. en español vamos separando como por, se acuerdan el silabario, ¿verdad? Que estaban las sílabas y etcétera. Pero en inglés es por el sonido. ¿Cuántos sonidos escucho? Por ejemplo, la to, to. La primera es un solo sonido, ¿verdad? To. Es una sílaba. B, C. Escuchamos dos sonidos. B, C. Hot es uno solo. Large. Si fuera español, diríamos lar es una sílaba y G es otra sílaba, ¿verdad? Así lo haríamos si fuera como en español. Diríamos lar y luego G, E. Pero no, en inglés no funciona así. Es el sonido. Large. Es una sola, large. Ajá, se une una sola, entonces es de una sílaba. No uh -huh. podría decir lar una y sh otra. <ríe> no va. Large. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. No, es una sola. Large. Eh, eh, no sé si le respondí la pregunta. Sí, Ok, good. Any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguien más? No? Okay, then we will continue with uh, the exercise number three. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Well, uh, they are not questions. <laughs> they are sentences. We are going to complete these sentences according to the information that we have in the conversation that we have there. For example, cheese. And it says pepperoni. How did we complete this sentence? Cheese. 
is better. Uh huh. So in your material, you just have to write better than. Better than. Number two. How do we complete the number two? The restaurant store is bigger than our pizzeria. Excellent. Bigger than our pizzeria. And finally, number three. Number three, they have more beautiful decoration. More that, beautiful decoration than this place. Than this place. That is correct. Thank you so much. So that is easy. That's the only thing that we have to do in the material. And then we have this information here types of restaurants. You remember in the competencies for this unit, we discussed um, that we will be learning, we will um, be getting more vocabulary related to the restaurant industry. And in this case, the types of restaurants. So types of restaurant, we have buffet, cafe or bistro, Chinese, Family, fast food, fine dining, food truck, gourmet, Indian, Italian, seafood, steakhouse, sushi, takeaway, vegetarian. Um, and let's see, can you give me one example of a buffet restaurant in El Salvador? Chinese food. Oh, really? Do we have a buffet in Chinese food? Where? I, I need to know, I need to go. <laughs> Uh, most commonly, buffet are served in um, some restaurants or some hotels restaurant for breakfast. Any example of a cafe or bistro? The coffee cup. Oh, the coffee cup, yes. Good example. Uh, Chinese, Chinese restaurants in El Salvador. China Walk. China Walk, uh-huh. Another? Celeste Imperio. Celeste Imperio, yes, it's very well known. Mm -hmm. Any other? Panda Express. Panda Express, yes, another good example. Okay, now, family, family restaurants in El Salvador. Family restaurants. Tipicos Margot. Oh, Tipicos Margot, yes, very delicious. Any other example? Pollo Campero. Ah, uh, Pollo Campero, yes. Now, fast food. Fast food. Subway. Uh, Subway. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's fast food. McDonald's. McDonald's, yes. Gwen. El chori, van a el chori. Okay, choris, yes. Okay, now fine dining. 
fine dining. Any example? La Pampa. La Pampa, yes, La Pampa. There is another one that I think is more expensive than La Pampa. La Hacienda Real. Mm -hmm. Now, food truck. Any food truck? Chema Falda. Ah, Chema Falda. Yes, I have seen some food trucks that says Chema Falda. Mm -hmm. Good. A gourmet restaurant? Bruto. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Sorry? Bruto. Um, I have fancy in uh, bamboo. In bamboo. bamboo. Oh, yes. okay. I have, well, I have been there like a couple of times, but I, I haven't seen that restaurant. I will go someday. <laughs> Thank you so much for the information. Now, Indian. Indian restaurants in El Salvador. Maybe not, right? Indian food? Comida Hindu? No. Hmm. I think we do not have Indian food in El Salvador, right? What about Italian? Pastaria. Pastaria? Oh, they're really delicious. Any yeah, other? Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. Now, seafood. Seafood. Seafood restaurants in El Salvador? Shiny shark bites. Uh, Supermarino? Costa. Okay. Now, steakhouse. Steakhouse? There is one in La Gran Vía, a steakhouse. Tucson. Tucson, yes, that is a steakhouse. Tucson, um, sushi, koi, koi, uh huh. Another sushi restaurant. El Soho. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Now takeaway. Takeaway. Alguna que solo sea para llevar? No, right? Vegetarian. Vegetarian restaurants in El Salvador? No? Go green. No sé si existe todavía. Go green. Go green. Go green. Yes, you're right. Okay. Now that we have uh, discussed a little bit about different types of restaurants, let's see. The exercise number four is to match the restaurant industry words to their meaning. And then we check if we knew all of them. Now we have specialty, buffet, book a table, take out, Delivery. Now let's read the definitions. You can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. Next, to make a reservation at a restaurant. Then, a packed meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Next, 
different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. And finally, a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Now, let's match them. So for example, number one, specialty. What do you think that is the definition for that word? Specialty. Uh, mm -hmm. A dish, a dish that is, is extremely, extremely good in a particular restaurant. Aha. Uh -huh. So specialty is, let me, let me write it down. Yeah. Okay, so here it will be number one. Okay, a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, now buffet. Buffet. You can, you can call a restaurant if you mm -mm. Different dishes. Different dishes, places. Uh-huh, that's it. So it is uh, different dishes. Give me one second. So we write here number two, correct? Okay, a buffet is different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Very good. Now, book a table. Book a table. Book a table. Make a reservation at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Very good, Maria. So this is number three, right? To make a reservation in a restaurant. And you can also use it in, in different um, combinations. For example, in this case, book a table is to make a reservation in a restaurant. But you can also book a room. Book a room, book a trip, book a flight. Okay, so very good. Now, number four, take out. Take out. Take out. A package, a meal package. done, you can eat away from the restaurant. Mm. Mm -hmm. So let's write here, number four. Okay, a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant and then delivery. Delivery should be the last one, right? So should be here. Uh, and we're right here, number five. Okay, and this is the way that it should look in your material. Any question with this exercise? No questions? Okay, then we can continue. Okay, now in the next page of your material in page number 10, we have an explanation on how to use comparative adjectives. It says use the comparative form of adjectives to compare to people, things, or animals. For example, delivery service is better than takeout. That's one example. And we already said that it is to compare two people, two things or two animals, but just two, only two of any kind. 
Then we have here a summary of the rules that we already studied. The first rule says that when an adjective has one or two syllables, we make the comparative by adding er to the end of the adjectives and then use than after the adjectives. For example, the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. Next example, the waiters at the French toast are faster than waiters at the Bon Cafe. Then we have, and the next part here, uh, when the adjective has more than two syllables, we use more before the adjective and then after it. For example, all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Okay, esas son algunas reglas de las que ya vimos en el cartelito eh, que está previo en las eh, slides. Entonces, estas reglas ya las habíamos visto. Acá sabemos que son más, son básicamente cuatro, y de las que aquí tenemos dos. Ok. Ahora vamos a ejercitar un poquito más y les voy a dar tiempo para que hagan este ejercicio. This one is on page 10 of your material. And what do we have to do? Can you read the instructions, please, a volunteer? A volunteer to read the instructions for number six. No volunteers? Okay. The instruction is complete the statements using the comparative form of the adjectives in parentheses. Okay. So number one, the adjective is convenient. Convenient. So you see it's like more than two syllables. So we add more at the beginning, the adjective as it is, and then the word done. And it has the end, the delivery is more convenient than take out. Let's work on the rest of the sentences and then we will check your work. I will give you time for you to complete the sentences and then we will check.
finished finished okay good a uh, volunteer for number two their beverages they their beverage are cheap, cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Excellent. Very good, Luis. Thank you so much for your participation. Good job. Number three, French restaurants. French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurant. Excellent, Carla. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Number four, the buffet. Number four, volunteer. Number four. The buffet, I mean, this restaurant is more complete than chance. Excellent. That is correct, Carla. Thank you so much. Number five, volunteer. Their service is faster than the restaurants we went to last week. Excellent. Thank you so much, Magdiel. Excellent job. Number six, the ambience. A volunteer for number six. Volunteer. The ambience in Harvey Kitchen is more uh, appealing. How can you appealing. Appealing. Uh -huh. appealing. It's more appealing than the food they sell. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. I see that you did a very good job with this exercise. So let me stop sharing for a little while. So we need to check attendance one more time. Remember to say present as soon as you hear your names. So let's begin with Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth. Amigail Elizabeth Flores. Hmm. I thought she was here. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Valmore Alexander Marroquí. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Okay. Elba Melanie Orellana. Elba Melanie Orellana. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Janet Fernanda. Janet Fernanda Cortez. Julissa Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Eh, Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Catherine Beatriz. Present Miss. Thank you so much. Magdiel Esaú. Present. Thank you so much. Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Mario. Let's see. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Janet Angel. Mirna Janet Angel. Thank you, Mirna. Santas Cristina Cerritos. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. And Victor Noé Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, we complete the second attendance check-in. All right, so we Present will continue. Luis Javier. Luis Javier Castillo. Okay, thank you so much. I'm checking here. Okay, then you have more vocabulary. Remember that on the unit number one, the whole unit we will be discussing about the restaurant industry. So that's why it is important for us to have mm, as much vocabulary as possible related to the restaurant industry. That is why I have this exercise for you. Maybe you will find new words here. So here we have the words. Let's start. Appetizer. Atmosphere. Beverage. Bill. Chef. Dessert. Pork. Main course. Meal. Menu. Napkin. Order. Reservation. Stay. Waiter. Any new word? No new words? Okay, as we did not find new words here, the exercise. I'm sorry? Napkin. Napkin is the piece of cloth or paper that we use to clean ourselves when we are eating. You got it? Servietta. That is correct. Servietta. <laughs> Good. That is napkin. It can be a paper napkin or a fabric na napkin made of cloth. Good. Um, now, the exercise is to put these words to complete the sentences that we have here. For example, number one, excuse me, I have a knife and a spoon, but I don't have a? Meal. Mm. From here. I have a knife and a spoon, but I don't have a? Fork. Fork. Excellent. That is the missing word. I don't have a fork. 
Okay, let's continue with the rest. Uh, remember that you have this information in the PowerPoint presentation that I sent to you before the class. So um, and there is not uh, enough time to, for us to write the whole thing in our notebook. So you just have to um, write number one, pork, number two, and so on, so that you complete the exercise. And then when you have time, you can um, do the complete sentence in your notebooks. But right now you can just write the number of the item and the, the answer. I will give you time.
Are we finished? Have you finished? No, yet, teacher. Okay. I'll give you more time.
Okay, uh, let's uh, start checking. Uh, volunteer for number two. I think it's atmosphere. Atmosphere. Excellent. That is correct. I really like the atmosphere of that restaurant. The soft music and the light makes me feel relaxed. Excellent. Thank you so much, Hazel. Number three. Volunteer. Me. Thank you, Magdia. Now that we are finished the main course, let's order dessert, maybe ice cream. Excellent, thank you so much. That is correct. Number four. I think is be um, beverage. Excellent, that is correct. Coffee, Coffee mm -hmm. is my favorite beverage. Excellent, you get it. Excellent, thank you so much. Now, number five, breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast yeah. is my favorite menu. It's my favorite? Menu. Breakfast, mm. menu, mm. Uh, mm -mm. Any other yeah. option? Breakfast is my meal? favorite main core. Mm, por ahí lo escuché, no logré distinguir quién lo dijo, pero sí. Breakfast Maybe is meal? my favorite meal. No. Meal. Yes. Excellent. Uh, six. Are you ready to order your food? Excellent, that is correct. Thank you so much. Number seven. I think it's to stay. Should I eat? or fall at the restaurant or take it home? Should I have it to stay or to go? No. Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the next one. Eight. Number eight. If you're very, if you are very hungry, you can mm -hmm. order a small appetizer. 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 Oh, thank you. Before you eat your meal. Excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah, the chef at his, at his restaurant is great. He knows how to cook many different kinds of food. Excellent. Thank you so much, Hazel. That's correct. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10, let's take a look. Okay, for number 10, you should have menu. Let's take a look at the menu and then we can decide what food to order. Number 11, how much is the total cost of our meal? Let's ask for the 
bill. Okay, we're going to leave it here. Lo vamos a dejar hasta aquí. Because yes, uh, time is over, unfortunately. Um, do you have any comments, any questions before we, we leave for today? No questions? No question. No, sure. no question. No question. Okay. It was okay. Okay, it was a pleasure to see you today. Thank you so much for joining today's section. And I see you tomorrow for more. Thanks. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you, you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Night. Good night. Good night. See, yeah. night see you tomorrow. Good night, Christina. Take care.